video I'm to give you the idea of making a phone cover with this beautiful star shaped crochet stitch so I have used many different colors so you may use two colors or multiple colors I have used green, yellow, red, white, purple and two purple colors. So this beautiful cute phone cover I will explain how I did it. I hope you will enjoy the video. So this is the yarn. The type of yarn I used cotton yarn green color and 2.5 crochet hook and let's start slip knot and for this a stitch design we have to have multiples of 8 so when we make the chain first we have to make multiples of 8 plus 2 chains so multiples of 8 chains and then at the end I make another two chains so if you want a long one you can make many chains but we have to take multiples of eight for the size of my phone I took 80 no not 80 I took 40 chains and plus Two chains and then we start a single crochet to the second chain from the end and then single crochets to every chain we made single crochets to every chain so we continue with single crochets easy so the 40 single crochets we have at the end so the end of the chain a chain and turn the other side insert a single crochet to the second single crochet from the end so we have single crochets now leave three chains and insert a double crochet three holes we left one double crochet two double crochet so to the same hole 
another double crochet to the same hole so now we have inserted three double crochets to the same hole and a chain and again another three double crochets in the same hole so all together we will have six double crochets in the same hole with one chain in the middle so three chain three double crochets a chain and three double crochets now leave another three single crochets and insert it to the fourth single crochet as a another single crochet then leave another three chains and to the fourth one again we insert three double crochets a chain another three double crochets in the same hole and we continue until we may meet our last single crochet so it comes in a wavy shape so a single crochet to the fourth hole and then we do with double crochets to the next fourth hole again the same design three double crochets A chain and another three double crochets end of third row with pairs of double crochets and insert a single crochet to the last chain of the sequence and do not complete it we can join our next color like this without completing the end of the previous row I'll join the next color chains 2 3 4 turn the other side and now to the second double crochet actually the first double crochet of the six pairs we insert a double crochet but we do not complete we hold the last chains together and now we have four chains on the hook and do it together then insert seven chains seven chains leave the middle chain we made in the previous six pair of double crochets and then start inserting double crochets but we do not complete yarn over and then we leave the last chain of each double crochet on the hook until we have seven in our hook so now three four 
four we have four chains four loops leave the single crochet here we inserted and another double crochet but leave the loop yarn over insert and leave the loop yarn over and first two chains sorry and now we have seven loops together in our hook join all the seven loops together it makes a cluster and then seven chains again and start from the next double crochet leaving the chain we made in the middle of the six double crochet pairs of the previous row so we do the same thing again and again now here we go until we have seven loops in our chain in our hook leave this Again, seven chains, and all together we join. Insert seven chains again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and start from the next double crochet, leaving the chain we made in the middle of the six pairs. So, again, we do double crochets leaving the last loop on the chain like this as we did earlier leaving that single crochet for the next row we leave, we use that in the next row So now we have seven loops and we joined again seven chains do the same thing seven chains double crochets third double crochet and we have four loops and we join the four loops together and three chains four chains turn the other side And to the hole here, we insert six, not six, we insert three double crochets. And then to the chain we left in the previous row we insert 
the hook yarn over including the chain we join it with a single crochet and again double crochets to the hole in the middle of the clusters of double crochets one double crochet three a chain and another three double crochets as we did in the previous row so this row you can complete in the same way as we did the previous row so six double crochets in the same hole and now to the chain we left a single crochet including the chain over the chain and again insert double crochets three double crochets a chain again a three three double crochets to the same hole so we have all together six double crochets with the chain in the middle so this is the end of that yellow color stars now I'm going to change the color into red so join the red color yarn like this make four chains you can also make three chains and again do the double crochets without completing the last part like this leaving the loop last loop on the hook so we go until we have seven loops now we have seven loops and we join all together as we did before and then we make seven chains seven chains and leave the chain in the middle and do another seven times six times not seven times seven six times with seven loops on the hook So this you can repeat as many times as you want it depends on the length and breadth of the item you you are going to make I'm go I'm going to make a small phone cover so if you want a wider space you can do this 
many many times so it comes like beautiful flowers or stars after we finished in this way so this is the little square i made i have gone 1 2 3 4 5 6 times flowers and the around at the end of the last yellow flower i ended the pattern and around the four sides i made single crochets and then with the red color i have made half double crochets so it looks fine at the end to get the fine look i made a row of single crochets and a half double crochets so it looks fine now so now finally i am going to fold it and stitch it you can either join it with the corners you can join with yarn or you can use a needle and thread so here i used a needle with a strong small size yarn red color maroon color so i join the two sides after folding i stitch it with the needle and yarn like this so you can use either needle and yarn or you can use the hook and yarn you can join it with the crochet hook as well but this way is easier because i am going to make another row of frills for this item so you continue stitching it at the end of that so now i have stitch a button as well to the front side of the cover so it is joined with needle and yarn the button and to make it looks fine i'm going to make a row of prints with bicolor cotton yarn two chains and i inserted three double crochets into the same hole and you can insert three double crochets or four double crochets into the same hole and leave two chains and insert a single crochet so it comes as a row of little prints like this and it covers the thread we did in the previous row to join the two sides that's why i included this 
row otherwise you can join it with yarn and you can leave it as it is or to make it look fine we can insert a row of prills like this a single crochet so I hope you are happy with my video you enjoy the video and you can send any comment in the comment line in my video and give your ideas please be kind enough to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video and you will get the opportunity to see many new videos